Hi folks and thanks for joining me. While I'm waiting on some capacitors and resistors to arrive for the Airline 62316, I thought I would take another look at the uh, power transformer and show you another feature on the uh, peak LCR meter, that being the LCR45, that you can utilize to uh, calculate uh, the turns ratio and the voltage ratio and back in to uh, what the estimated voltage would be of the uh, power transformer unloaded. So uh, I've already got the math done here, but I'll show you guys how to do this. Just using the uh, simple Peak LCR45. We'll also go back and look at the output transformer and look at the turns ratio there and just make sure it's uh, definitely a good match for the airline receiver as well. We've already backed into those numbers, but we'll repeat the measurements here on the LCR45 and make sure they're relatively close and match what we uh, read before using my little uh, homebrew Arduino meter. So as I mentioned, you can actually calculate the uh, turns ratio or voltage ratio, however you want to look at it by using the impedance from the meter itself and or the inductance. So I've already done the math here and I'll demonstrate that. Again, I'm just hooking the LCR meter up here to the primary side. I took these readings uh, early this morning. It was about uh, 20 degrees cooler here in the shop and sometimes that will impact the uh, measured results. So we'll stick with these numbers since I've already recorded those, but you get the idea here how you can use the inductance. Now again, this particular uh, meter has a pretty cool feature. Let me get back over here. I jump past this. You can see the calculated impedance, but there's another result here that you can leverage and you can see the uh, magnitude and phase. So if you look at the magnitude, the way they define it in the instrument is the impedance is the real impedance in addition to the imaginary parts of impedance of the component under test. So I've recorded the uh, magnitude of impedance for the uh, primary and secondary windings. So let me unhook the LCR meter and just get this off to the side. And let's look at these calculations a little closer here. All right, using the data that I captured this morning, again, you can see the uh, primary inductance called out and the secondary inductance. And again, as I referenced just a bit ago, the uh, magnitude of the impedance, and I've got those uh, called out as well for the primary and secondary. Again, I'm only using one half of the secondary for the measurements and the reason why I exceed the limitations of the meter. I think the upper end is around 10 Henry's max. And so I notice when I try to go across the entire high voltage winding, I get inaccurate results for inductance. So. I've chose just to split that, center tap back to one of the high voltage windings for the calculations. We'll start out here using the inductance numbers. So you can see I can take the square root of the secondary inductance, divide it by the primary inductance, and again this is in Henry, so I've converted uh, the 686.2 millihenries into Henry's at .6862. And again, times two because I have split the uh, high voltage winding again in half. So the turns ratio comes back to 5.28, and that matches my previously uh, calculated numbers using a uh, variac and an AC 60 hertz signal. We're very close to that. I can multiply that by my modern day. AC line voltage of 120 and you can see that would place me at 633.6 volts unloaded across the uh, high voltage windings. Again I can also use the uh, magnitude Z impedance do the math the same way 
take the uh, secondary, again, one half of that number, the 30.49K, again, that being 1,000, divided by uh, 4,361 times 2. You can see the numbers are extremely close. Turns ratio was 528. Now we're 529 times 120. Comes out to 634.8. So an average between those around 317 volts, high voltage from the center tap back to each winding is what I should uh, see once the uh, transformer is under power. Let me slip this up just a bit. But we can repeat the math here for the 5 volt winding. Um, you can see here again, if I just uh, focus on the magnitude Z, because I could not get a measurement here on inductance at 1 kilohertz, and I wanted to stay consistent at 1 kilohertz. So if I take the uh, secondary impedance of 10.48 divided by the uh, 4361 ohms, we get a voltage ratio of this number times 120, and you can see we can back in to the 5-volt uh, string at 5.88 volts unloaded. And working again for the 6.3 volt, you can see the same uh, method and procedure used. Again, I could not read the inductance at 1 kilohertz on the meter. Leveraging the uh, magnitude Z, Again, that being the uh, sum of the impedance, you can see the uh, math works out to uh, 7.45 volts unloaded on the uh, 6.3 volt string. Let's look over at the uh, output transformer now, and let me show you the measurements that I recorded there. Again, I'll show both methods here. I've got the uh, primary inductance and secondary inductance called out, converted the uh, millihenries into henries, and then of course the uh, magnitude, that being again the total impedance, is uh, indicated or measured from the uh, LCR 45 meter. I can take the uh, turns ratio, is the uh, square root of the uh, primary impedance, the 40K, 40,000 divided by 20.54 ohms. And you can see that gives me a turns ratio of 44.13 to 1. When I measured the transformer before on my Arduino uh, homebrew meter, 43.67, so right there at 44 to 1. So again, if you back into the numbers, the impedance of the transformer open would just be the turns ratio squared or turns ratio the 44.13 times itself comes up to the 1947 and some change I can multiply that by the 4 ohm loudspeaker and that gives me a reflected load resistance back to the 6F6 tube of about 7700 uh, ohms and you can see a good match for the tube is 7,000 ohms at 250 volts, as I showed before. And I had mentioned the uh, Arduino meter that I built came in just under that. So again, you can use those same calculations, again, looking at inductance, the uh, square root of the primary inductance in Henry's divided by the secondary inductance in Henry's comes out to uh, 44.19 versus the uh, 44.13, so it's uh, right in the same ballpark. thought I would uh, just show you guys how to do that, just in case you haven't discovered that yourself, or uh, again, you may have another meter that has that same functionality or feature that you can uh, leverage to do that. But, uh, pretty cool way of doing that and just some simple math you can plug in the numbers and the calculator and uh, back end to the uh, numbers for a power transformer or audio output transformer thanks again for watching folks uh, more to come soon once I uh, get the capacitors and resistors here for the uh, airline 62 316 everyone out there take care